the aftermath of the weekend's fatal battles in the former Yugoslav Republic of Macedonia between security forces and what the government said was a Kosovan-led terrorist group. Several homes reduced to ruins. NATO has called for a transparent investigation after heavily armed police entered a mainly Albanian neighborhood in the northern town of Kumanovo. Azem Brahimi's house was destroyed in the fighting. My son worked in Switzerland for 20 years to build this house, he says. His car that cost 20,000 Swiss francs was completely destroyed. The only thing that kept me going is when I saw that my children were alive. The bad thoughts went away. This man squarely blames the government. Terrorists didn't do this because there aren't any here, he says. The real terrorists are the prime minister, the interior minister and the Albanian leader who signed a deal with the government. More than 20 people were killed in the operation. The government says they included police and rebels from neighboring Kosovo. Claims dismissed by ethnic Albanians in Kumanovo, who say the prime minister is trying to distract attention from a political crisis. The aftermath of the weekend's fatal battles in the former Yugoslav Republic of Macedonia between security forces and what the government said was a Kosovan-led terrorist group. Several homes reduced to ruins. NATO has called for a transparent investigation after heavily armed police entered a mainly Albanian neighborhood in the northern town of Kumanovo.